this episode I'll cover shaking outlet pipes. So if you find you're running the pump and you're getting your outlet pipes are shaking and sometimes like on a smaller hose or something like that they'll shake to the point of wearing your hose out if it crosses a piece of concrete or a bit of rock or something like that just from rubbing on there it can wear the hose out pretty quick so you want to try and avoid that let the pump run as efficient as possible so one of the issues you're going to have is every now and again the air inside the head here just through pressure alone it dissolves into the the gas dissolves into the water and you end up with water only in there now it's nice if you got some way that you could just sort of lift a pipe out of the water and let some air suck in there and it'll replace that and that cushions cushions the flow and actually creates a smoother flow uh, another thing is uh, down the bottom it's the most most common that I've seen is one of these valves is stuck down or missing so that'll uh, that'll cause just the water sloshing around but it also causes the it only just firing on one side so you get a squirt squirt instead of a do 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 as just a single one running um, another thing one of your buckets totally worn or piece come off it or just just disintegrated and so it's only running on one stroke and then on the return stroke the water just slides past the other one so that uh, that stops that happening too uh, another thing that could cause it is your buckets are running they're over running so in other words somebody's put the wrong length shaft in it and so when it gets to the the full end you'll find that it um, it goes past the cylinder I'll, I'll show you what I mean is is say so that's your cylinder and it's flared at the end and your buckets are in there and you've got your cylinder end cap over here the buckets are coming past this section and sometimes even out into this zone here and so there's your your two buckets you you actually want the the end stroke of the bucket the the bucket reaches within 10 mil there's your flare 10 mil there that's that's perfect if you if you're getting that sort of stroke on the pump it's not going to be overshooting the cylinder which then just means all of this can backflow all the pressure that you've created so by having the it running evenly in the cylinder and not going past those points uh, not only does your cylinder wears evenly and so do your buckets but you have a much more even flow. Uh, another thing that can cause the uh, cause that sort of the, the the jacking off, which that's what the old guys call it, the shaking pipes, is uh, that you you got you're asking too much of the pump. So you're pumping up a real big long hill, and you're going sort of I don't know 60 to 100 meters. That's the the, the pump's not really designed to do that kind of height. It can. If you're going to go to that extreme, I'd suggest maybe putting an inch and a quarter cylinder in, which then takes a lot of the strain off the pump, and it's more than happy to uh, give you that extra height that you're after. So uh, that's all I'd say is if, you, if you're getting that jacking off, that's what you do to fix it. Also, with, with the shaking pipes, if you make sure that your two valves have got that little slot in them, that little cut, so that it allows a little bit of water to suck back down it causes it to not get vacuum lock inside this chamber here which then makes the pump run a lot smoother as well so bear that in mind <laughs>